Hello everyone, welcome to the Ask Dr. Rita show. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the effect of antibiotics on the immune system and things that you can do if you have to take antibiotics, things that you can do to help your immune system. What are antibiotics? Antibiotics are drugs or remedies that help to inhibit the growth of bacteria. And usually antibiotics um, are prescribed when there is presence of an infection, um, usually a bacterial infection. Antibacterial uh, antibiotics are bactericidal or bacteriostatic, meaning that they kill or they inhibit the growth of bacteria. Antibiotics don't kill viruses, they don't kill fungus. You need to take another type of um, remedy if it's a fungal infection and if it's a viral infection. But today I'm going to be talking to you about antibiotics and the effect on the immune system and the things that you can, you can do to immu improve your immune system, whether you are currently on an antibiotic or you have been on an antibiotic therapy. Now, why do people take antibiotics? Usually, some people take antibiotics because they just love to take antibiotics. Some other people take antibiotics because it is prescribed. But I just want to say to you today that you shouldn't take an antibiotic unless it is required. And for you to know what antibiotics you need to take, you have to do a test, a laboratory investigation, which would require that a culture has been done for a particular specimen, it could be specimen for any body part you know and so when that test is done the culture will show to you what bacteria the what um, antibiotics the bacteria is successful to and which one it is resistant to and so on the basis of that you you are now prescribed some drugs now while we know that antibiotics have very good benefits in the body we also science has also shown that there are side effects and even if you read through the leaflet of an average antibiotic, you will see the potential side effect. Now, when you take antibiotics occasionally or only when required during the period for the period of time for which it is required, you usually may not have those negative side effects. But if you have been found yourself that you've been taking antibiotics, especially people who have had pelvic inflammatory infections and diseases, they tell me, oh, Dr. Rita, I've been on these antibiotics now for the past seven years, for the past eight years. I'm wondering, why are you on antibiotics for eight years? You've taken it every three, three months. That's, that, that has effect on your immune system. One of the things that back to antibiotics does is that it kills bacteria. Now, antibiotics does not know that this is a good bacteria and this is a bad bacteria. It kills bacteria. Now, when the destruction of the bacteria has taken place. Usually, even the healthy, the good bacteria that help the body, they are also destroyed. Now, when this happens, the areas where those healthy bacteria should have functioned properly, especially in the gut, which are in the intestine, where they should have functioned to help maintain health. Also, some of these bacteria help in production of vitamin, vitamin K. So you see, when you now have a depletion because you have been taking antibiotics indiscriminately, you find that the body's resistance reduces to, to opportunistic bacteria. Also, you find out that you begin to manifest symptoms as a result of the absence of these healthy bacteria, especially for people who have been on antibiotics for long, they begin to they find it that it becomes they it becomes more easy for them to have diarrhea. You know, diarrhea becomes more frequently. They, it's become frequent. They can even have nausea, vomiting, it, digestive issues, and these things could lead to low immune system. Now. When you have found that you've taken antibiotics, also too, another thing also, when you take antibiotics, your kidneys have the responsibility of flushing out these antibiotics from the body. But if you take so much of antibiotics, you've been taking them indiscriminately, and then also there are people who start a course of antibiotics therapy, and then they didn't, they don't finish it. They say, oh, I'm feeling better, and then they forgot and they did not finish it. What has that done for them? That has made them increase the chances of resistance so when that antibiotic is prescribed for them next time it most likely will not work and so they need to go higher higher until and the, the higher the antibiotics you have to take the higher the side effect and the higher the potential risk it has on your liver and on your kidney you know so why would you want to do that to yourself 
So what can you do to protect yourself if you have been placed on antibiotics? One of the things that you must do in the course of antibiotics therapy is that you must take a lot of water. You must be properly hydrated. During the course of antibiotics, it's best you stay away from home remedies like lemon drinks, like, you know, those. Just stay away and focus on the antibiotic therapy that you are on because there are some remedies that are in the house that you take that either stops, inhibits the work of the antibiotics or up antagonizes the work of the antibiotics. And so you say, oh, I took it, I didn't get better. But there were other things you were taking. So don't just say, oh, you found this green tea and then you are now drinking it. No, don't do that. If you are in the course of a therapy, finish the therapy, then you can start doing something else. And usually when you are on the course of an antibiotic therapy, when you finish the therapy, you should go back for a repeat to find out if the therapy you have done, if it has worked. And then if it didn't work, then you will know what to do. But then if you find yourself that you've been diagnosed with, you have an infection, why don't you ask Dr. Rita? Why don't you ask me? Why don't you consult with me and let's find out how to help you. I've had a lot of testimonials. I'm sure that you want to be a part of the people who have had great testimonials with consulting with me. You know, so, so back to what I was saying. So what can you do to improve your immune system if you have been exposed to a lot of antibiotics used over the years or over some time? One of the things that I said you can do is take water, take a lot of water. Number two, avoid home remedies that would frustrate or inhibit the actions of the antibiotics that you're taking. Number three, take a lot of yogurt. Yogurts are probiotics. They provide your body with healthy bacteria that will help the gut and that also would help heal or repair the cells along the intestine that are usually mostly affected by consumption of antibiotics. So also another thing that you can do or you should do is take a lot of whole grains and then take oats. Oats are very beautiful. So take coca oats, you can make them into porridges, you can make them into swallows, you can make them anyhow into cookies, you know, just have a lot of oats. Then take a lot of fruits, take fruits, fruits that help to restore the body after use of antibiotics. Fruits like blueberries, blueberries are very good or any dark colored fruit or colored fruit. You can take blueberries, you can take blackberries, you can also take your your um, carrots. Carrots are also some vegetables that you can take. Um, you can take um, cabbages. These things help to improve your immune system after taking um, or when after you have been exposed to the use of antibiotics. So if you you love taking drugs or you or someone you or someone you know have been taking drugs, it is it is important that you are aware of the potential risk associated with indiscriminate or unnecessary use of antibiotics. But these steps I've listed to you above, they are things that you can do to help your immune system and as well as also the things that you can do to, to, guide, to, help, the therapy, to help you join the course of the therapy. I hope I've been able to answer your questions. So till next time, stay well and remember to take a lot of water. And if you have any question, you should ask Dr. Rita. See you soon. Bye.